family. Happy Easter. I am Cami. If you guys don't know me, I teach the kid yoga and music and movement classes at Happen Mission Valley. And this is my beautiful assistant, Miss Morgan. She's eight years old and she's going to do some family yoga with me today. So we're going to start off while we wait for some friends to join. We're going to start off with some nice Let's see, oh, we do have, oh, hi, Anna and Emily and everybody. So we're going to just start off with a short vinyasa flow, and then we're going to do some fun poses together. So Morgan and I are going to demonstrate just some fun things, and these are fun to do around the house um, while we are all stuck here. So anyways, I hope you guys had a great Easter morning and that the Easter Bunny came. Morgan got a, what did the Easter Bunny bring you? She brought me this. She also gave me Yahtzee. Yahtzee, yep. And maybe some, do you want to let the dog in, Morgan? Also a lot of candy. <laughs> a lot of candy. Okay, so it looks like we have a few friends on here. Um, oh, hi, Carrie. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. I'll bring yours a little bit close. Okay. Let's go ahead and start in a tabletop position, okay? And let's go ahead and just move back and forth, the front to the back of our mat. Sit down with dog mm -hmm. and my And front and back. And go ahead and stay still and just move your hips back and forth. Back and forth. Nice job, Morgan. Awesome, my friends. All right, we're gonna widen our knees out a little bit and come into a child's pose. So we're gonna come all the way back and our forehead's gonna be on our mat. And we can do the same thing here. So we're gonna kind of wiggle your booty around a little bit while you're in your child's pose. Stretch out those inner legs. Nice job, friends. All right, so we're gonna alternate. We're gonna go from child's pose to mermaid's pose. So we come from here, we come forward, and we try and touch our back big toes together like this. Shoulders down and look up, and back into our child's pose. And back into mermaid pose. Take a deep breath in, and breathe out into child's. And breathe in. And out. Now we're gonna go ahead and try, we're gonna close our mouth and we're gonna just breathe in and out of our nose. So in and out through our nose. Let's do this two more times. In and out. Last time in and out. Nice job. Go ahead and come back into our tabletop. Nice job, my friends. And let's go ahead and sit back on those heels. That's fine. All right. So I'm going to come up just so we have, you can stay back there, Morgan. I just, because we're going to be leaning side to side. So we're going to be sit, sitting here in hero's pose. We're going to lift up our arms overhead. And let's grab our left wrist with our right arm. And we're going to. Lean over to the right. Nice job, nice long stretch right along your left side here. And back up and grab your right wrist with your left arm and over to the other side. Nice job, my friends. And let's do that one more time on each side with our breath. So breathe in. And breathe in and grab your other wrist and out. And back up and open your arms out. Do a nice little cactus pose and back up and come back down into your tabletop. And let's go into our first downward dog. So tuck those toes and lift those booties up high in the air and straighten those legs. Nice job. And go ahead and pedal those feet out. 
So bend your left knee and your right knee. Pedal that out. Nice job, my friends. And go ahead and look up at the front of your mat, and I want you to walk your feet up to meet your hands. Go ahead and bend your knees a little bit if you need to. And let's do a halfway fold. So hands come below your knees, flat back, and all the way over. And let's bring it all the way up into our high mountain pose. Nice job, my friends. Let's scoot back a little bit, Morgan. So you go all the way back to your back of your mat. Perfect. All right, we're in our high mountain pose. We're gonna do that little stretch to the side that we did when we were in hero's pose. So we're gonna come to the right. And come to the left. Nice job. And then let's open that up. Cactus pose. Nice little back bend. And up. And come down into a forward fold. Come up high onto your tippy toes and into a little tiny ball. Now here, if you guys want, I'm gonna, can you come forward a little bit, Morgan? So you're right next to me. Okay, so Morgan and I are both here and we're in a little ball on our tippy toes. So we're gonna practice balancing. So first we're gonna put our hands on our knees like this. And then to work as a family, we're gonna try and just touch one hand to the other hand. Are you okay, Morgan? Okay, if it's hard to balance, that's okay. Put one hand down on the ground, Morgan, like this. So on your tippy toes. So put your right hand on the ground and then your left hand and my right hand are gonna to touch like this, okay? And so since we're touching, let's see if we can try and bring our other hand over. See, and we're helping our, each other balance, huh? Let's see if we can lean in and touch our fingers together. Woo, that's hard. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. All right, go ahead and straighten those legs up. And halfway bend and fold over and bring it all the way up. Nice job. And bend over to the right and bend over to the left and back up. And I'm gonna come forward a little bit, Morgan. You can go back a little bit, Morgan. And go ahead and cactus those arms open. And back up. And back down, forward fold. Now in your forward fold, go ahead and separate your legs a little bit. And I want you to grab the opposite elbow. And we're gonna just sway side to side a little bit. Loosening up that lower back. Nice job. Awesome. And hands all the way down. And halfway left. Back down. Now we're going to walk out to our plank. So we're going to come to our plank. If this is too hard, that's okay. You can keep your knees on the ground or you can have them lifted like this, okay? We're going to come forward and we're going to bend our elbows, chaturanga, down to our bellies. And let's do a little baby curl cobra. So our hands are right here, right here by our, right underneath our shoulders. And we're just gonna lift up our head a little bit, looking straight in front of us. We don't want our neck to be down and we don't want it to be up. We want it to be just even. Nice job and go ahead and bring it down. Tuck your toes and downward facing dog. Nice job, my friends. Okay, let's lift that right foot up in the air. And let's come into a tiger pose. Do you know how to do tiger pose, Morgan? Uh -huh. So you're gonna bring your knee in to try and touch your nose. And then back up into three-legged dog. Let's do that one more time. And tiger pose to meet your nose. And back up into three-legged dog. Now we're gonna come all the way through into a crescent lunge. So we're gonna see who you can keep your back knee down if you'd like, or you can lift it. And we're going to bring our arms all the way up like this. Awesome, guys. Okay, we're going to continue with those side, those side stretches. So this one's a little bit harder because you're really balancing here. And back up. And over to the left. And back up. And let's see, Morgan. You think, Morgan, you can put your knee down like this. So I'm going to do that for this one because we're going to cactus our arms open. And up. And then we're gonna come back to our lunge 
into our plank pose and chaturanga. And this time, if you'd like to, you can come up into an upward facing dog. Nice stretch in that lower back, good job, Morgan. Tuck those toes and take it back. Let's do the left leg now. Left leg comes up and come into a tiger pose and back up into three-legged dog and tiger pose. Really try and get that knee to your nose and back up and bring it through into our lunge. So remember you can keep your back knee down or you can lift it up if you'd like and arms come up overhead and grab that right wrist. You okay, Morgan? And we're gonna take it over to the left and up and over to the right and up. And instead of doing our cactus arms, let's try and fly it back. So fly your arms back and reach out over your, your knee. So you don't wanna lay on your knee, you wanna lift up your, your torso and your chest. Nice job, friends. And come back up, arms overhead, and back into our lunge. And let's do our flow. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Tuck your toes, and back into our downward facing dog. Nice job, my friends. Let's go ahead and walk those hands back to meet our feet. And let's slowly roll it up. Nice job, friends. Okay. I forgot to bring water in here. That's okay. Okay, so Morgan, I'm gonna have you, so if you're working with your family, make sure your mats, or if you don't have mats, that's fine. But we're gonna make our mats even. So we're gonna do some partner stuff right now. So Morgan and I are gonna face each other, and our legs are gonna come out into side. So this is a really good stretch to do. I don't know about you guys, but I've been sitting a lot more than I normally do um, and sleeping a lot more. So my back hurts a lot because I'm not moving as much. Okay, so we're gonna hold hands, okay? I don't know if I have a lot of room. So first, Morgan's gonna come towards me and I'm gonna pull her back. Okay, just does that feel good? You wanna go more or is that enough? Okay, so then you're gonna go backwards and I'm gonna come forward <laughs> like this. And then we're gonna go back, it's like a seesaw. So we're gonna go back and forward and back. It feels good. It does feel good, huh? And yeah. forward. And let's do it two more times. Back and forward and back and forward. Nice job, Morgan. Okay, so we're here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch our sides out. So we're gonna put our arms out like this. Okay, Morgan's gonna go to the front of her mat. I'm gonna go to the back. And we're gonna bring our arm over. Nice job. And it's fun, because then you get to see the person you love right in front of you. Mm -hmm. huh. Good job, Morgan. And then we're gonna bring it back up. And we're gonna go to the other side. And if you can't grab your toes, that's okay. Just try to keep your arm on your shin. And as reach as far over as you can, trying to touch your toes. And last time, we're gonna come on the last side here. Boom. And back up, nice job. All right, now we're gonna bring our feet together into butterfly pose, okay? So we rock back and forth, butterfly pose. Flap those butterfly wings. Nice job, Morgan. All right, so we're gonna do this again. So kind of like what we did before, but now we're gonna stretch out more of the back side of our legs and our booties. Sorry, so we're gonna come back Ooh. and forward. Ooh, this one feels good. I know. Back and forward and back and forward. And if you guys are if you guys are doing family yoga and you have an uneven even number, that's okay. You can just switch off. And if there's somebody that doesn't have a partner. You guys can be here and you guys can just practice coming down because that's the most important thing is we're just trying to stretch there. Let's do it one more time. Back and forward. All right.
right, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna do a couple balancing things, okay? So sc scoot back a tiny bit, Morgan. Okay, so without my partner, I'm gonna first show you how to do boat pose. So I think most of us, let me see, check the time really fast. Oh, cool, okay. So I think most of you know what boat pose is. So boat pose, we can do boat pose here. We can lift one leg, we can lift both legs like this, okay? So this is kind of, we're gonna kind of be here for this boat pose, but we're gonna use it with feet, with our partner's feet, okay? So Morgan's gonna pick up her left foot and then her right foot, and then we're gonna try and grab each other's arms. <laughs> Ugh. Woo, it takes a lot of balancing, this huh? Is a popular, <laughs> this is a popular, like, Partner pose. It's a par popular partner pose? Yeah. All right. So this right now we're using a lot of core strength, and I'm really using my finger muscles to hold see. on. Oh, yeah. I don't think they can. Okay. Let's... Here. I'll, I'll scoot back a little bit. Okay. I think that's good. Here. So there. 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 <laughs> oh, God. It feels good, though. It does feel it's good, worth yeah. It's it. It is worth it. Okay, you want to try and straighten our legs now? Okay. Oh, straighten our legs. Oh, 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 oh. And one, two, three. Crash. <laughs> it's like a boat crash. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that again, but we're going to get a little bit closer this time. And we're going to try and do it with, with wide legs, okay? So you're going to put one here. And then we're going to grab each other's hands in the middle. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, how about this? Let's hold hands first. And then, and then we... we'll do our feet. Okay, <laughs> and there's... we just like fell into the split. Okay. Other foot, other foot. It's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one's hard. <laughs> that might need a little bit of balance. I've okay. done it before so, with the kid. Yeah. So the next one, I couldn't get Maverick, my son, to do it with us today. So I'm going to attempt to do this with Morgan. She's a little bit heavier than Maverick. All right, Morgan, so you're going to do, we're going to do the flying pose. Okay. Okay, so I don't, I'm not going to move the things up. Okay, okay, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this before. Yeah, okay, I did this with Daddy. But this is really good for both of us. So I'm going to put my, wait, stop for a second. Make sure, I don't think they can see. Okay, so my feet are gonna go right where the hip creases are, right here. Then I'm gonna grab Morgan's hands, okay? And then slowly, I'm gonna lift her up. Now Morgan, you straighten your legs. Nice job. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Okay, do you want me, you wanna see if you can fly without my hands? Over to the side. Awesome, Morgan. All right, take me down. and now I'm going to do a couple little squats with her. I'm going to bend and straighten <laughs> and bend and straighten. Woo! You're strong. Bend I'm heavy. And straighten I think and bend Ooh, I heard a crack. and straighten. Yeah, that was my ankle. All right, let's fly one more time. Arms out to the <laughs> side. Can you, can you see if you can straighten your legs behind you? Nice job, Morgan. All right, now we're gonna let go. I'm gonna bend my knees and we're gonna go, woo! Good You're job, Morgan. <laughs> All right, let's do a couple other, what was the other one we were gonna do, Morgan? I think it was like, when we put our feet behind her, it was. Oh yeah, yeah, that one, okay. Yeah. This one's really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you by myself first okay. and then Morgan will come in. Okay, so we're gonna do both sides. But first I'm gonna have my, I'm gonna balance on my left leg and I'm gonna put my right leg out to the side with my foot facing forward, okay? And the way it's gonna look for me is I'm gonna look like this, okay? You could look up to your elbow if you want or you can look straight ahead if you'd like. Okay, so now Morgan's gonna do the same thing. I think we might have to scoot back a little bit so everybody can, see. we don't need the mat. Hopefully everybody can see us. So Morgan's gonna come down on her right knee and her left leg is gonna come out. So they're gonna kind of cross each other. Now she's gonna take her left hand and grab my right hand and then we're gonna reach all the way over like this. Isn't 
that cute? It looks and like then if we don't touch hands, we can make a little heart. So you make a little yoga heart. Awesome. I, and this is another nice, a really good side stretch here. It's another way to say I heart yoga. Yes, I heart yoga. <laughs> That's what Marianne said. All right. And now we can go cut. We can do a counter stretch to the other side. My closet's here, so Morgan can do it, but I'll do a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. And let's do it one more time. Hold hands and grab each other. Nice job. Perfect, guys. And one more counter stretch to the other side. Awesome. Okay, on our knees, we're going to walk and we're going to switch sides. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to do our opposite sides. So, left leg out, right leg out, grab hands, and I heart yoga. Oh, kind of does look like your heart if you like bend it. And let's do our counter stretch. Ooh, Actually, can stretch. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it on this side. And one more time inside, hold hands. And nice job. If you can try and look up to your elbow, that adds a little extra stretch for you. And last time, counter stretch over to the right or left. And awesome, good job, Morgan. Okay, couple more things. So let's come back to our mats. Let's do a couple standing balancing poses. Okay, so. We're gonna start with tree pose. So, a couple different variations of this pose. If you are new to yoga, or you're like me, I have weird sides, and I just have weird days. Sometimes I'm awesome at balancing, and sometimes I have no balance at all. Same so, time. today, if you would like to, you can just keep your foot here, kind of heel right up against the inside of your calf, hands to heart center, and just stay here. You're still balancing on your left leg. And as you feel more comfortable with it, you can bring your foot up to your calf, or you can bring your foot all the way up into your inner thigh. If you have something, a chair, you can also use that to balance. You could bring your hands to heart center. Now as, you, now, as you're here balancing, I want you to look at a point on the wall or whatever's in front of you, a picture, and something that's not moving to try and focus on. You okay, Morgan? I did that. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. Okay, that's okay. You can keep your foot on the floor like I was saying. That's great, and that's a great way to practice balancing. If you would like, you can bring your hands up and you can open up your tree. Nice job. Okay, so it. what I wanted to try and do is to try and do the balancing thing again, Morgan. So you know how we did it just now on the floor? Yeah. Okay, so if you can keep your foot down if you want, but we're gonna we're gonna attempt. So no, your other other foot. Yeah, we're gonna do opposite feet, and we're gonna see if we can come all the way over again, and touch. Woohoo! And it helps your balance a little, huh, Morgan? Yeah. That's you. Families help each other stand strong and tall, and we they, support each other. They help each other with everything. Yep. Awesome, Morgan. And we'll go ahead and bring that foot down. And let's switch sides. That was fun. I've actually never done that before. All right, let's see who's here. Awesome. We, oh, I think I know every single person on here today. Sarah and Brooke and Aunt Amy's on here. Awesome. Okay, so again, we're gonna do our, whatever foot you didn't do on the other side, we're doing that foot now. And we're gonna have our partner right here. And here we go. And if you don't have a partner, that's okay too. We can just do it by ourselves. So we're gonna go ahead, hands to heart center. We can bring it here. We can bring it all the way up if you would like to. Let's find that spot to focus on and stay here for a couple breaths. I'm just looking at my eye. And if you would like, you can bring your hands up, open up that tree. And are you ready, Morgan? Okay, so we're gonna hold hands and we're gonna bend all the way over. See, see, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying to focus. Oh, oh, I'm gonna fall out. Okay, awesome job, you guys. Okay, so now we are going to do our dancer's pose. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Okay, so for dancer's pose, we're gonna start, we're gonna have our arm up. We're gonna grab 
I'm gonna start with my left arm up. You can do the same one, Morgan. Left, I'm just, oh yeah, we can switch spots. She wants her purple mat back. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have you stand back there and I'll stand up a little bit. Okay, so left arm comes up, right arm comes back. We're gonna grab that. You can grab the inside or the outside. I like to grab the inside of my foot. And we could stay right here, find that spot on the, the picture, the spot on the wall, and you could stand here and just balance. If you would like you, like to, you can start slowly coming forward, dropping it down. And if you are doing this okay and you have your balance, try and kick your foot into your hand. That'll help a lot with your balancing. And let's hold it here for three breaths. Awesome, my friends. Okay, go ahead and bring it up and let's let go and let's shake out our legs a little bit. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do the other leg now. So let's bring our right arm up. Let's reach back to grab the inside or the outside of our left foot. And you can stay here, find that spot to balance. Or you can go ahead and drop it down. And if you're coming down, make sure you kick that foot into that hand. And then you also want to change your focus onto something lower than you were before. And let's hold it out here for three breaths. Three. Two. And one. Nice oh my job, God. my friends. You okay? Yeah. It's <laughs> a hard one, huh? I can't do Okay, we're gonna do one more. Okay, we're gonna do a figure four. Oh, I know how to do a figure Yeah, I think you're good at this one. Okay, so kind of like tree pose how we were, we're gonna start though coming into a chair pose. So sit back into your chair pose, arms come up. You're gonna bring that right leg up and you're gonna cross it above your knee and you're gonna sit back. It's like a four. Yeah, it looks like a figure four. Perfect, Morgan. Nice job, everybody. And let's just, if you can go a little bit lower, you can. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone's allowed to fall. <laughs> I fall all the time. Luckily, you have that bed right there to fall on. I just, awesome. yeah. <laughs> all right, let's hold it here. If you would like, you can try and raise your arms over your head for three, oh, wait, I have to focus. two, one and straighten that leg and bring that foot down and shake it up. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay. So let's come back into that chair mm -hmm. and then we're gonna bring that left leg up this time and go ahead and cross it over. So if you need help, you can kind of use your hands to bring your foot up. I'm and go eyes. ahead and bend that right foot if you can. You can close your eyes if you want. That takes lots of balance. I am I'm not very good at doing that. <laughs> and you can bring those arms up overhead. <laughs> nice job, my friends. If you want to bend down just a little bit more. Awesome, guys. And let's bring those hands back to heart center. And straighten that leg and bring it on down. Awesome, my friends. Okay, we're gonna come back down, do a couple more things. Let's bring these back a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do our pigeon pose, okay? So let's, so why don't you go ahead and meet me into a downward facing dog. And let's bring that right leg up and let's bring it through into our pigeon. So see, Morgan, so we bend it. Okay, make sure you flex that foot, that front foot, to protect your knee. I know this very well from my knee injury. And it kind of take a peek at your leg behind you and make sure that your leg is pointed and it's right behind you, okay? It's not over to the side, it's not in, it's right behind you. Okay, and then we're gonna sit up here, you can stay here, and you're probably feeling that right here in your booty. Do you feel that on your booty? Nice yeah. job, Morgan. Awesome, you can come bring it up here. Exactly. 
And lastly, my favorite is you can bring it down here. Oh, I'm gonna sleep. You can put your forehead on your hands. Awesome. And just hold it here for a little bit. Get a nice stretch. Awesome. Now if you'd like, you can come back up and you can bend that back knee and you can bring it into full pigeon. Have you done that before, Morgan? Yeah. So we're gonna bring our arm back here. You can just, this is a great place to start. That is a wonderful stretch. Or, I don't even know if I could do this today. Let's see. I think I could do it. Into full pigeon. All right, good job, my friends. Okay, let's tuck that back leg, back foot, and bring it up, and meet me in downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal those feet out. Stretch those legs out. Your cracks. I know. Morgan likes to talk about the cracks in the body. I, I know. <laughs> I know, because you're young. I know, and yesterday. All right, lift, really that, lift that left leg up, and bring it in to our pigeon. Okay, so for this knee, I have a bad knee, so I'm gonna grab a block. So if you don't have a block, you can get some books, or you can get a towel, or you can even like fold up your mat to do it. So when I come in, um, I don't know where my other one is. And I kind of put it behind my booty right there because I just get nervous about this knee because I hurt it last year. So, but we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna look behind us, make sure that foot's straight behind us. You can bring your arms up, overhead, and you can bring it all the way down. Ah, oh, this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel it at, Morgan? I feel it like in my leg. In your leg. Yeah. Do you feel it in your booty? Mm -hmm. So yeah. you wanna have actually have, see how this foot's in front? Yeah. So you want it to be in front. There we go. Awesome. And let's stay here for a couple more breaths. I had to feel it in my booty. <laughs> and whenever you're ready, go ahead and walk yourself up. And we can do the full pigeon if you like. So for this one, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna practice stretching out this leg. Because I can't do it on this side. I feel but it's like a really just... nice stretch. The thing is it when I do this, mm -hmm. it only stretches, it only like really stretches yeah, That's this. okay. All right, if you have a block, you can move that out of the way and we're gonna come back into our three-legged dog and back down to our downward facing dog. Awesome, my friends. And let's come back down. We're gonna come onto our backs now. Yay. We're gonna do some bridge posing. Yeah. So, um, let's see, Morgan. Let's switch. Well, that doesn't matter. You go in front that way, okay? And put your legs out in front of you. Perfect, okay. So there's a, we're gonna do kind of layers here. So first we're gonna start with our knees bent like this. We're gonna have our hands are gonna come right to our side here. We're gonna walk our feet as close as we can to our booties. And slowly we're gonna start vertebrae by vertebrae, starting from our lower back, and we're gonna slowly bring it up to our bridge pose. Got it. Yep, nice job. If you would like, you could clasp your hands underneath and get a nice little stretch there for your shoulders, oh, that feels good. opening up your chest. Nice job. And let's bring it down slowly, starting from the top and all the way down to the bottom. Awesome, guys. All right, we're gonna do that one more time and then we're gonna go into a full wheel. All right, so here we go. Hands are by our side and slowly from the bottom to the top. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and clasp those arms. And this time, if you want, try and come up on your tippy toes. I think Morgan's already doing her tippy toes. I did. And then you can try and lift one leg up and lift the other leg up. I brought a hand up. Nice job. You can try and lift a hand up if you'd like. I can lift both hands. Awesome. Good balancing. 
and let's slowly bring it down. All right, now if you would like to, you can come into your full wheel. So for this one, we're gonna, hands are gonna go up and we're gonna make, I call these shark arms because it looks like little shark fins here. Yeah. Make some shark arms. I'm gonna we're gonna bring our, we're gonna bring our heels close to our booty. And on the count of three, we're gonna bring it all the way up. Ready, Morgan? Yeah. One, two, three. Boom! <laughs> all the way up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Nice job, Morgan. And go ahead and hold it here whenever you're ready. Go ahead and slowly bring it down. Head comes down first. And roll it down. Good job, Morgan. Oh my goodness, he's tired. I am. All right, let's come back to our mats. We're going to stay on our... I'm going to have you scoot yours over a little bit, babe. We're going to stay on our back now. We're going to slowly work our way into Shavasana. A couple Yay. more stretches. Um, if you're wondering why I don't have music, we can't really use music on here anymore because they say like the rights or whatever. So for the Hapa yoga classes, we're not using music. So if right now, if you guys want to take a little break and if you would like to put on some Shavasana music for yourself to play, go ahead and do that. And I'll meet you guys back here in like 30 seconds. If you guys don't care about the music, Go ahead and we're gonna come do a we're gonna do a little tiny core before we finish up here. So I want you to have your heels down, arms out in front. We're gonna lift our right and our left. And we're gonna hold this. If you would like to challenge yourself, you can straighten your legs up. You got it. Point your toes. All right, and slowly we're gonna roll ourselves all the way down, flat back. And here we go. So we're going to bring our right leg in. We're going to stretch it. So stretch it kind of towards your right armpit. <laughs> nice job, Morgan. And whenever you're ready, we're going to cross it over to our left side. If I have room, so can you scoot? Can you scoot over a little bit, baby? And you can cactus your other arm open, your right arm, and look over to the opposite side of where your knee is. This is my favorite stretch. Nice job. And go ahead and bring it back in towards that armpit and slowly bring it down. And other foot, bring it in towards your left armpit. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and cross it over. Cactus that arm. Oh, that feels good. Nice job, everybody. And bring it in. And let's bring both knees in. I want you to give a big giant squeeze. See if you can kiss your knees. Mwah, mwah. Thank, thank them for lasting as long as they have. Mwah, mwah. Awesome. And let's do one little last happy baby pose. <sighs> boop, boop, boop. Happy baby pose. Happy baby pose. <laughs> All right, good job, my friends. And let's bring those knees in, feet on the ground, and let's come into our final resting pose, Shavasana. Legs can be out, arms can be out. You can have your arms overhead into star pose if you would like. And while you're here, I would like you to slow your breathing down a little bit. And if you're doing this with family, take this time, maybe hold hands with the person that you're with. Be grateful for this time that we have to be home with our families. Or our fur babies. Be grateful for all that we do have. Without 
one more minute, we'll lay here, keeping your eyes closed. I want you to think about your most favorite place to be and your most favorite people to be with. And just picture that. And slowly with your eyes closed, I want you to start the feelings back into your toes and your fingers. Circle out your wrists and your ankles. And let's do a nice big good morning stretch all the way from your tippy toes to the tips of your fingers. And I want you to squeeze every single muscle as tight as you can even your face and relax it and go ahead and turn over to your favorite side into fetal pose and let's just lay here for one second using your arm as a pillow enjoying this last minute of quiet time And when you're ready, go ahead and push yourself up. You can keep your eyes shut and bring your hands to heart center. And let's bring those arms up for one final big breath in. And open mouth, exhale. Thank all of you for joining me today on this Easter family yoga class. And thank you, Miss Morgan, for helping me. I'm so blessed to have such a beautiful daughter to do yoga with. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And the light in me sees the light in all of you, my friends. Namaste. All right, guys, thank you for having your spending your morning with me. And it was so good to see everybody and happy Easter.